Welcome to Vegas. We are on our way to the Mustang Challenge, which was, I think, like July 10th to 13th in Vegas. It is the Western one that I'm competing in with Pixel. And this is going to be a class review and breakdown. So first, when I got there unloading, I came by myself, so I had to keep her tied in the stall. And luckily, she Thank helped me spread you. out the shavings. That was really nice of her. And then my boyfriend made it out, was helping me desensitize her to the things up at the top. She was just looking for cookies, honestly, and wasn't sure why he was looking like a monkey running around. And we'll get started right away in the classes. So the very first class that we had was ranch maneuvers. So this is going to be a fun, fun little show right here. Look at all the chrome on this Mustang. Look at that beautiful. That Mustang's just coming in. She's not pushing it, just coming in easy. But once that Mustang's in, he's like, I'm ready to go. It's exactly. So that's what he's going to do. Look at that so he's right going to walk over the logs. Look at okay, that now he's going to trot, and he's going to go from a trot to an extended trot, and then a collected trot. So you're going to let him stride on out with a longer trot. And then, as, as you see this horse doing that, it's going to bring it back in and make it collected. So it's going to stretch it out and bring it right back in. And then he's going to go into a low. So hip number 43. And they put that on there just to kind of help all of us, you know, keep track. And it's just the order of the draw, you know. And, and, and Sam Van Fleet, you know, she's from Florida, you know. She came a long way for this long event. Long way. And this, this Mustang's called Pixel. And it's a four-year-old four mare. mare. I love that. And Gathered from Massacre Lakes, California, her management area. And wow, incredible yeah. horse. Look at that right there. Look at that blaze in the front. Pretty, pretty picture. And Sam is a young horse trainer who works with a variety of breeds at Prosperity Forum in Willingston, Florida. She's a constant top 10 Mustang makeover competitor, as well as a traveling clinician, primary focused on liberty work. And liberty work is when you're working with complete trust with the animal. Definitely. No halters, no lead ropes, no anything. It's just beautiful it's to watch. It's a completely different type of riding, but I mean, it, it's so incredible. And once again, I saw when we were with Dan in Fort Worth, Dan James, you know, he's going to be one of the uh, commentators for the Lexington, Kentucky event for the English division. It's exciting so, stuff right there. Yeah, it's really cool to see. And and uh, she, Sam's work features strengthening, conditioning, understanding, you know, you with your horse. I love that it's starting with groundwork and always emphasizes patience. And that's that what is it the takes. number one thing. People don't talk about that enough, but it takes so much patience to work with these wild, incredible Mustangs. Because, I mean, it's different. I mean, they their raising and upbringing is so different than a typical horse that you get. And, I mean, it makes y'all's bond and connection a lot strength and uh, more important. But then it's also, like, incredible because you're starting from the ground up. And you have to regain that trust with that animal. I mean, it really is incredible. And you need so much patience for her to do that. So I love that she brought yeah. that up. Look at Sam backing up Pixel. Wow, look at that right there. Just calm and cool. Real you know? calm, cool, and collected. You don't rush through steps and you don't skip steps because you always end up at the beginning if that happens. And you can tell Sam didn't. Wow. That the audience is applauding. I mean, that was absolutely incredible. Good job, Pixel. Yeah. Good she job, made Sam. Florida proud today. Made Florida proud. There you go. Yeah. I didn't realize there were going to be people talking, so I guess after each video I'll just talk briefly about what it was. I was happy with her first pattern showing in this arena. She was a little bit slow, like I could have pushed out that extended trot a little bit more. I could have helped her more with her pivots or her spins, I guess you would call them, but she was really good. I'm happy with her. We came in 22nd in this class, but it was like we were seven points away from first. It was very, very tight and tied together. There were so many ties. I think if all of the ties were like counted as equal points, I probably would have been 12th or 13th or something. But yeah, I was happy with her level head. I couldn't have asked for a better calm, focused horse. And uh, Pixel did a great job this morning. Yeah, Pixel's had a great day today. And Sam Van Fleet, you know, out of Florida. She had a long drive here to She's Vegas. Top 10 and Sam Van Fleet is a young horse trainer who works with a variety of breeds of Prosperity Form in Willings, Will, Williston, Florida. She's a Costa top 10 Mustang makeover competitor as well as a traveling clinician primarily focused on liberty and trick training. And she takes the liberty and the trick training and puts it right into this event here. Yeah, you can see her making this this her own right here. Yeah.
Yeah, I love that Sam says that she always likes to emphasize patience because a lot of people don't realize how much time it really takes to um, get these Mustangs to where they are. I mean, we just see them today looking great and fabulous, but I mean, it's crazy to think that they didn't have too much time to get them here. So that takes lots of patience so to work, work. and lots right. of trust with one another. And it takes a while to develop that amazing relationship between horse and rider. And we really see that with these two. Incredible right here. Smooth and easy, no sense in rushing. I love it, enjoying this moment here at South Point in this amazing casino. And this little mare, this little four-year-old mare, Pixel, came, she was gathered in the Massacre Lakes, California herd management area. Wow, only four years old, crazy. So the, the Mustang came from California, Sam came from Florida, now they're in Nevada. Good night, they've traveled all over the map. Yeah, they're traveling right now down that arena. <coughs> Beautiful Good stop. stop. Setting up for the next little uh, maneuver here. Okay, picking up some energy. So about halfway through with the rain and pattern. Slow, easy, low. This mare's covering some ground, just a few strides, you know. Long stride. She's really using that whole arena. This is her moment. This is absolutely incredible. Really smooth ride right there. Good lead change. And she's a traveling clinician, so she goes all over the country, you know, doing clinics and teaching people and education and Wow, that great was a stop. great stop. Incredible ride, Sam. That was beautiful. Yeah. And Pixel, little four year old mare. Pixel did great this Pixel afternoon too. You know, this morning. Pixel's showing great. up. She ain't coming to play. Yep. Very versatile. Less thrilled with my raining pattern. I could have warmed her up a lot better for this. I was letting her be a little bit lazy and tired. After this class, I actually went back out and schooled her just for like five more minutes. And it was so much better. And I'm like, shoot, I should have warmed that up. Obviously, we missed that one last lead. My bad. I did not prep her for it right. And you could tell in this class, especially with that first lead departure into the canner, uh, on our first circle, she was leaning a little bit more towards the gate. We still got our lead, but it was a little bit towards the gate. I needed to, you know, help support her more there. And our canter speeds, we're supposed to have a slow, then fast, then fast, then slow for our circles. Um, I mean, we changed the size between small and large, but our speed pretty much stayed the same. We hadn't practiced too much, like, the extended lope. And our stops, you know... She was soft and not like running into my hand, but she didn't slide here like that locking stifle. She was just babying it a little bit more. But yeah, you know, it was it was OK. I know a lot of points in it where we could have done better. So we're watching Florida. Sam Van Fleet on the Florida, Florida, Florida riding Pixel. This is a four year old man. And uh, Sam Van Fleet is really making a name for herself in this uh, Mustang Challenge. Definitely, yeah. She's a young horse trainer who works with a variety of breeds in Prosperity Farm in Williston, Florida. And but just really quick, they cannot pronounce Williston, Florida. I find it really funny. She's a consistent top 10 Mustang makeover competitor, as well as traveling clinician, primary focused on liberty and trick training. And she specializes in young horses, cold starting, Mustangs, groundwork, liberty, trick, dressage, you name it, she can do it. You really can see her incredible expertise put onto Pixel here. We saw them do some great runs yesterday, and I'm excited to see how they do today. Absolutely. What a cool name. Where did Pixel come from, you think? <laughs> There's a movie called Pixels, but I don't know. Maybe so. I like that name, though. Well, here we go. Good Pixel luck, Sam. Pixel the Mustang. Good luck. 
Apparently they didn't talk over trail class, so I can voice it over. Uh, trail is usually one of my worst classes. You start out with trot serpentine, really liked her trot here. This pattern is pretty basic. You have some trot poles in here. And then you need to pick up your extended left lead on a circle. Oh, I forgot for the raining class. We came in again 22nd, just like the first class. There wasn't as many ties in writing. There was a bigger separation, but um, yeah, 22nd for both those first two classes. And then we have our poles and then you have to walk into the shoot. A lot of people slid stop in it. I was pretty proud of Pixel. This is the one point in it that I feel I could have done better. I've only practiced a few backing shoots with her, but I should have had this be more fluid. See how I'm kind of hesitating and taking a little bit too much time? Like I could have just, the feet didn't fully really stop moving, but I could have done that a little bit better and smoother. We didn't tick any poles though, so I can't be too unhappy. Then you walk out of the chute and you trot over poles. I was really, really happy with Pixel for this class. We trot over the poles and then we pick up our right lead. That way we get both leads in this pattern. And then you canter over a pole down at this end of the arena. Good job, Pixel. And then you have to make a tight turn to canter through a box. And then you break down to the trot. And then you walk before you get to the bridge. Walk over the bridge, walk through the box. Sam is finishing up the course right now with his last maneuver. Awesome job. Pixel did it, man. That was the crowd great. loved that run. That was a great job. Sam Van Pleto, Wilston, Florida. Wonderful job. Congratulations. Do you believe it? If I told you Pixel tied for first in this class, we ended up, the tiebreaker, of course, was the backup shoot. We tied for first, so we got second. Kevin was the other one that tied for first with me, so he had a little bit of a smoother backup. Got the same points, though. I was thrilled so happy with pixel she did great then it was time for the top 10 announcement and placings of all the classes of course we already saw placings for the first two classes but trail is you know the one they hold out on um, and then they tell us the placings and then top 10 but this is the fantastic group of trainers we had there competing and mind you these are the ones that made it to the event i think there was more signed up and a ton more that picked up horses initially to compete um, that ended up you know, not making it at all. So really impressive that we had such an awesome group of trainers and competitors. You could tell that it was really elevated this time in the quality of the horses all around. Uh, there was a lot of really good ones. It was tough competition. I am thrilled to say that I made it into the top 10. That trail class saved my butt coming in uh, second slash tied for first. Um, yeah, and I I made it in. So they had this weird point system that they decided to start doing at the show they didn't tell us about. So basically they had two scoring systems and the only difference in uh, the scores in both systems was 10th and 11th. They were flip-flopped between the two. And who would have guessed it? Of course, I was one of those spots. It was Sam Rock and I in the 10th and 11th spot with uh, one scoring system. I was in 10th with the other scoring system. She was in 10th. So they ended up taking 11 for top 10 and it worked out great because one person that made top 10 with two spots, um, like I said, it was one competitor that had two horses, one of his, spoiler alert for the end of the video, one of his horses, the second one came in 11th, which wound up great. That meant everyone ended up being in the top 10 that was up there. Horse trainer who works with the variety of breeds in Williamston, Florida. She's a consistent top 10 Mustang makeover competitor and a well-traveling clinician. She's representing this younger generation so well, and this is an incredible duo. And they're going to give the rest of the competition a run for their money, that's for sure. She's definitely going to make Florida proud. Definitely, yeah. She always starts with groundwork, and she always emphasizes patience on her mares. And I think that is so important. Well, come on, Sam and Pigs will have a great run and enjoy it. Can I just say that I'm an English rider and I made the Western top 10, so I'm pretty proud. Um, I also did not expect it, so there was no freestyle plan. I freestyled it when I got out there. This is our compulsory, by the way. Pretty similar to what our normally compuls normal compulsories are in a makeover. 
Um, you have your rundown, your stop, your rollback, whatnot. So we had a cute, cute little rollback. Nothing like really extreme or intense, but we're doing it. Again, our slides weren't there. Kind of bummed about that, but um, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here at this point. And you know, it's hard when you make the top ten. Your horses get pushed through to those extra classes. One thing I am noticing about our pivot, she doesn't move her hind foot, but you might notice it's the wrong hind foot. So I need to figure out with my weight balance. There we go. She just shifted onto the correct one. I need to figure out with my weight balance how to make it that inside hind. And the only change this year for it is that um, you do two spins instead of the one and a quarter. Again, we're ending up on that hind outside leg, so I need to fix that here. This is my my least favorite part. Okay, not the side pass. Side pass is whatever. They weren't perfect. She's side passing, but I could have done like a little bit more. I don't know. I got to center line. It's fine. Like I said, these are bonus classes. This, embarrassing. What am I doing? What am I doing? I fixed it so quick, but what am I doing? Why did I not just keep her straight there and ask? Why was I leaning in? What is my problem? Anyways, ugh, missed a lead, but she's pretty and she's quiet and she's responsive and I love her and she's being so good. And then we change our leads in the center. We do a little simple change. Just kidding. I forgot there's two circles now. See, I don't even remember the pattern. Um, so they did that, add that into compulsory where you now have two circles. Okay, now we do a lead change. A little simple, a little cute simple. Um, I could have gone closer to the rail. Okay, hear me out. There was a bunch of other people that had horses that were not um, enjoying their time in the arena, I guess I should say, or enjoying, you know, their patterns. They were kind of pissy or really forward and hot and heavy in the hand, and they also missed leads. And I came in 10th out of 11th in compulsory. Beautiful. So Great run. I didn't think Absolutely. my run was that bad. Of course, there's so many areas I could nitpick it out, but I didn't think it was a 10th out of 11th so run. Go to Mustang Champions. There was a lot of areas I could have improved. It was not first by any means, but I don't think, knowing how some of the others rode, it shouldn't have been that low down. But, you know, I'm an English rider, so they probably were like, why is she not sitting very well? I'm not going to talk about my freestyle, I'm just going to let you guys watch it, and you will be able to see it with the actual music as a separate video on my channel.
Oh, how about it for hit number 43? That is Sam Van Fleet. And her horse, Pixel, today. I was very proud of my girl. She tried so hard for me with me uh, doing very poor planning. And I'm super grateful for the crew I had on the ground helping with the setup and tear down of the few things that I had. Started with a little bit Liberty when I came into it. And then I had a few elements that I put in there last minute. None of the props were mine except the yoga ball. I had just bought that. But yeah, I'm really thrilled with Pixel. This was great practice and preparation for the Kentucky makeover. I'm very excited to do that. Fortunately, there's not any other photo of her laying down, so I just have this inaction shot of her going down. But very sweet, very happy with her. Like I said, I don't know when I came in for freestyle, but compulsory, it was 10th out of 11th, but somehow my freestyle pulled me up to 8th overall. So I was thrilled. Pixel was fantastic.